Good morning. <clears throat> morning, people. Right. Um, for those of you who don't know, I've sort of disappeared off YouTube for a while. And I thought it was about time I showed you why I've not been on YouTube for a while. Um, basically, what I have been doing is working on this, which is, um, some of you might recognise it as Air Island from FS19. And myself and Ross Agnew, the one of the map creators, I've decided to take the task of converting it to FS22. Now, before I start and I go into all this, uh, you know, this mapping and what have you, I by no means am an expert at doing this. I am just learning. Um, so anybody who says, oh, no, you're doing that wrong and you're doing this. Yeah, I know I'm doing things wrong, but I am actually enjoying what I do. Um, and I just thought I would share it with you guys and let's, like I say, let's go. I mean, uh, the plan today, um, as you can see, we've done quite a few areas. I will give you a little tour of what we've done so far. Um, but we've still got all this section to do. Uh, and my plan today was to work on this little village area uh, and the farm up here. And like I said, so you can see most of the stuff's been imported, but... Um, unfortunately, these building textures, um, easiest way to say it is, they're not going to make the grade for FS22. So, we're, um, we've actually got a whole new buildings. I mean, we've got a whole new everything to put in. Um, you know, all these stone walls, uh, quite a few stone walls are going to be changed out. Um, so this is why the process has been a long drawn out process, guys. just having a drink excuse me um although a lot of you might think oh yeah this is nearly ready for going now i mean it looks nearly complete it's still a long long way off i mean we are working on it as uh, as much as we can guys uh, and like i said i'm hoping to bring you a few episodes and um, so you can watch along and see how it's developing as it does develop um this map will be put out to people uh, you know, on all the regular websites. Uh, unfortunately, it'll not be on uh, Giant Sub um, because uh, it's going to be too big a map, guys. Um, I mean, as you can see, we're looking to have it around about 1.4 gigabyte when it's all done. Hopefully, all being well. Because um, we need to try and make it multiplayer friendly as well. Right, I mean, you can see here, um, there has been quite a lot of detail work done on it. Um, but when we started on this, it was all basically, well, when I started on this, um, it was all basically just like this. Everything was imported in and uh, what you see is what you get. I've had to do all the levelling and everything and detail work, which is primarily what I've been doing is the detail work, whereas Ross has been doing all the XML work. And we have created... A new patch as well, which we're working on at the moment. That is a new extension to Air, well, Air Island from FS19. This is why we get it the name Air Evolved. Um, there's a complete new farm and everything on this side. I don't want to go too much into that side of things at the moment because we're just developing that. And we don't know where we're going with it yet. Um, I can, like, I can, however, show you uh, what we have done on this side so far. I mean. You'll, you'll remember the back lane down to the island, guys. That's all been revamped up. Um, new houses. Um, like I said, trees are all seasons now. New FS22 trees. And we've incorporated quite a few stone walls and what have you. Plus, we've took a lot of features out and added a lot of features in. Um, like I said, dry stone wall is a new feature. Um there's now a little lane mail up going up to the new section. That still needs finishing. We've put the farm in here. A little stockyard because we've had to take it out. So we've had to use the farm, if you remember, from here. We've had to use that as a production area. See, it's not just a case of remodeling a map. It's a case of trying to fit all the new stuff in as well. Um, we've tried to keep Air Island as much as we can, but obviously uh, we've had to revamp quite a few bits. Like I said, all this section has been revamped. Um, I'm not going to go too much into detail on it. Um, that has been revamped, look. 
course, you guys love notes. Look at when when we do the first look, you say, "Oh yeah, I've seen it, been made on it, had t-shirt printed." So basically, um, that's where we are with this. All the files have been redone and everything. Right. So anyway, back to doing what we're going to do today, guys. We all start getting bored. So I know I'll, I know I natter on a little bit. I'm hoping to concentrate on this area today. Um, right. Hopefully we can keep this little bit of road. Um, I think this wall will be going more. All these walls will be going and we'll be replacing them out with the new stone wall we've got. And like I said, quite a few buildings will be going in my I'm not sure if I've got that church already or whether we've used the new church. Should, let me just go and have a look at the church, guys. I believe it's the same one. Yes, it is. So we'll add some nice features to the church. First things first, let's get some space on the job. Now you'll notice there's not many trees here. I, I do actually either lift the trees up in there or, like I've done there, or just delete them for now. Look, they're all lifted. Just basically so the dog can see the rabbit if you like. So what we're going to start and do, guys, let's get rid of some of these houses. That one can go. That one can go. That one can go. See, it always gets worse before it gets better, guys. Right. So what we'll do now, let's level. Let's build this ground levels up. So we've got something like. This has got to be one of the most tedious sides of doing this job is leveling everything off. It's it's a bit of a slow process, but it's got to be done, guys. Mind you, saying that it's a lot better now than it was on previous uh, editors. I mean, some of you guys out there are probably thinking, "Oh, yeah, you can do it a lot quicker than that doing it like this." Like I said, I am still learning, and sometimes it's best to do it the way you know. get there and, and just a little bit of uh, perseverance always pairs off I said I'm not too worried about this section at the moment um, I'm just going to start with the houses just get all this left first normally it does fall into shape like that once you get all nice and level, there we go, we're getting there now. Oh, my bad, sorry. <laughs> Putting half a tab up. Right, so let's build this bit up. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that road right now because there's some lovely textures in FS22. It's going to be all mouse clicking you here at this stage. But it'll give you guys an idea. Of, I mean, I don't, uh, I don't, I'm not saying for a minute you guys don't understand what goes into this mapping, but I'll be honest with you, I didn't. I uh, I just thought basically we just got a, uh, a map and stuck things on it and job were good. And, and it's not while you actually do it that you realise how much time and effort goes into this. Um, so we're getting just about there now at that one. So let's. I say I want to try and keep this road. I mean, don't worry about this wall here. I'm going to move this round anyway, so it'll look more in keeping. I want to try and keep the uh, lane effect. A bit uh, wild, wild with this mouse this morning. Right. So let's get all this level up. That's what I'm doing now, guys. I'm just sort of centre mouse button levels it all off. I know you guys can't see, but I have actually got all the terrain editing in another window. Look, I'll just drag it in so you can see it. I've got it on the second screen, along with my scene graph. And then you've got your attribute, which has got nothing on because I'm not clicking on anything. And then you've got your material one. All these are on my second screen. I've done that purely and simply so you guys can get a full view of what we're working on. Um, it does, however, however uh, 
sometimes make the viewing a little bit laggy that it's a price that I'm willing to pay because uh, I like to look at things in big screen no. so anyway so we'll we'll replant these uh, two new albums we've got here first and then we'll try and uh, get some gardens going up and get edges and everything finished so we've got to go and collect some houses first now a lot of when you're mapping is done by copying and pasting i mean obviously i've had to import the houses originally um there they are look so these are the new ones we're putting in i need to make sure i took everything from it there we go i've done it so many times where i've just copied and pasted and uh, just brought a window or uh, brought the lighting and you know it makes you look a bit uh, Makes you feel a bit silly, mine look a bit silly. Right. And there it is. As easy as that look. Easy as pie. Now what we can do with these, you see, I don't know whether you notice, but the front is different to the back. So right. So what we can do just so it doesn't look same, eh? I didn't miss on the other one was that quite a crappy little move. Just level it all up first and put it into place. We can stick it here. Make sure we've got a bit of back garden. Yeah. These cottages never had loads of garden anyway, did they guys? So we'll move it a bit close to road, I think road head. About there, so it's got a bit more of a back end now, see. Well, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to copy that over because we need the same house for next door. They like that lot. But we're going to put a bit of a curveball here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this. So on. Right, so I want the house back. I'm just going to oh, broke it. <laughs> Try again on that one. I'm gonna do a magic trick here. Look like this. It's magic. Hey, hey. There we go. I think I've got that somewhere on a level. Let's just make sure we're all square and leveled up. And that's how you get, like, say, you've got two houses now side by side but with different looks, which is awesome. And then when I click on that one again, well, I can take all the lot again, like that. Lot. A little trick like that is something like, say, you pick up on the way, and it does actually make you look like. Right, so let's sort some boundaries out of these two houses now. I mean, you'll see, like, oh, look at that. You've got to look at them from all angles because you'll think, oh, yeah, that's spot on. And then uh, you have a look and you think, oh, no, crap, no. That pissed up, pissed up thing. Try and get them somewhat like in line so it looks like builders have just uh, built them, not abandoned them. We'll move that edge back because move that edge over there because I might need that in a moment. Right, so let's go ahead and start building some sort of garden thing around here now. Boom, boom, boom. I am I do apologize guys if I get good silent because I get so used to just doing this and not talking. Um I will try and keep reminding myself that I am recording it. Another bit of edge in there, so I'll just copy that and 
No, it won't. I'll tell you what, I'll copy it again. Right, now it's work. There we go. And that'll cover that gap up. Right. That's just me taking a drink. But uh, already you guys can see, like I say, it's coming together. But when you think you've got to do this for every single square inch of this map or centimetre if you're metric, it, um, it does take a little bit of doing, guys. You can see it's not going to be a fast job. But I will tell you, you do get a lot of enjoyment out of doing this. It's very, uh, very therapeutic, like I said. And, and when you've done, you've got something where you say, oh, yeah, that looks great. And you can actually turn around and say, well, yeah, but I did that. I mean, already you can see we've got um, got these coming up all right. I mean, I'm a, uh, I actually do keep changing things up because I thought I'd think when Ross sees it, I like him to think, oh, that's nice, that's different. Um, and so far, I've not sort of... Uh, I've kept surprising him with what I've done. Obviously, he's going to be able to watch these videos now and, uh, you know, say, all oh, right, I knew you'd do Max, I saw it. And, like I said, I mean, obviously, I mean, it might not be what you guys want to see, but I think it's quite interesting. And if you're thinking about going into mapping or modding, I can just say, I mean, I just stumbled on it by accident. I mean, most people know me as a gamer. And um, like I said, I basically just stumbled onto it by accident. And I started putting a few bits and bobs in maps. And, uh, and then I got chucked in the deep end. Ross came to me and says, I'm doing this. Do you fancy helping me detail it? Um, I did actually have a little bit of a hand in doing font and extended William in FS19. Um, and like I said, I mean, from that, I think that's why he said, right, well, you know, you need to come and help me detail this. Now, to me, we're like, whoa, what a mammoth task. And uh, well, this is why I say, I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm not a fantastic person at modding by a long shot, and I don't claim to be. But what I do, do I enjoy doing? And you can just notice uh, we need to just up this land a little bit there, like so. There we go. You do find yourself tweaking about this stuff while you're uh, doing other things. So just so we can get that door stuck. So just so we've got the edge of the door stuck there, that's it. so many days where I've been sort of clicking and not clicking and clicking and not clicking and then it all was pear shaped and that's where you can we've got an undo button which is quite nice but we'll carry on because we need to uh, carry on with these edges here anyway so if we can move these back to so we've got some sort of border We'll come back to that. Right, the big decision here now is going to be, do we put little gates in and uh, or do we sort of go with driveways? I don't know now. I'm thinking perhaps a driveway. I think what we might do is move this over here like this. Because, I mean, we are living in an age where most people have got vehicles now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stretch that a little bit so I can just even it up. So, there we go. That hopefully makes it look right. I mean, that edge looks a bit of one now. What we'll do is just turn that. Just that one. And then we'll move that one back. This is what you like. You see, you all to one thing. And then you think, oh, that looks wrong now. So, there we go. And then we'll do the same with this edge. No, not that edge. It's a straight line. That edge. 
we'll bring that one up here like this so it also so it all sort of flows nice like so and again we'll put a new edge in here because that's a bit too far to stretch that one edge and then we'll do the same here like that and again like i said you can see when you look at it from an angle this edge is going on an angle now so we'll straighten that up just so it looks pleasing by the eye and then we'll straighten that up to match something like that bring it forward and hopefully that'll look better yeah it looks a bit more in keeping right so next job it we need to put a bit of a driveway in here now Right, let's go for textures. Now, I've found guys that for driveways, there's a texture called Riverbed, and I've found it absolutely awesome. It looks, the dog's dangling for everything, basically. I'm like, one texture suits all at the moment. I'm going to have a little bit of a path there. There we go. So you can see we put a little bit of a path in there and we'll use this bit as a driveway but one thing i learned a long time well for early on when i was doing map modding is don't just use one texture mix it up make it look a bit makes it look a bit more realistic if you like so what i'll do is we'll have a bit of gravel dirt in there and we'll just dot a bit of gravel dirt like this just to you the amateur three dimension and also now we have actually got stones as well now with stones it's best not to go to overboard with it um but you can see straight away that's come alive better now we've got a few textures on it oh excuse me sorry about that guys that's me just that's me just pausing for a drink right so um we'll lob a little bit of grass in now we'll deco foliage and um, a bit of long dry grass i think because we want to just lob something down here like this and also we need something on the curb edge here look so Oh, do we need to lift that up a little bit more? Just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect on these edges, but it's got to look like they're trying to work me to it edge of road. I mean, you can always uh, use other textures. So what we're going to use here is we're going to go long dry grass down here so and it just gives it that road edge look if you like but uh, just to add a bit to it we'll stick a few a couple of weeders in put a nice tall white weed in there put them on there and green weed no it's green sleeves sorry not green weed <clears throat> my bad Right, so you can see already it's coming alive. Um, well, we need to get a rotary washing line, I think, for this back behind. One thing you've got to really look at with these is whether they're floating, and that is definitely on a floater. We need to look the ground up there. You know, I've done it so many times where I've, uh, I've got so far away, and I'm like, yeah, that's spot on now. And then you come out and go, yeah, but why is that floating? I'm like, I didn't realise it worked. Because you look at it from different angles and everything looks tiggity boo. So <laughs> like I say, you go into the map and look at it and you think, jeebies. Uh, you know, like blind man and galloping horse to see that in the real world. Uh, you know, it's one of them things you do trial and error with it all. <laughs> so. Now, because this is somebody's garden, we're going to presume that he keeps keep doing his gardening quite nicely. So, we'll be using small grass as it's been cut. And we'll just, oh, that's not grass, that's lifting land up. And we'll just love a bit of small cut grass in here. 
down there a lot of us. But so, hit the roots. It does look better, I mean, I to, like I said, I have to pull the trees out, but I need to at some point get another tree in. I'm, I've got a sort of picture in my mind's eye where I took the trees from, guys, so it's not a big panic. Like I said, I will be, uh, I will be replacing at some point. We do add a bit of character to it. A bit different. I mean, I'm going to try and uh, keep this to the detail inside of things. I mean, to be honest with you, there is a lot of field work to do, but this is really what takes the time, the, uh, the houses and things. Uh, I mean, it's quite easy just to level fields off and grass it up, and I think you'd soon get bored in an instant if I start doing that. I know I would. I'm just going for a rotary dryer. That'll do. This is what you like, picking everything up safe. The old copy paste job. Just turn that off. Click that. Yeah, that probably won't be umbrella. Hello, hello. Hopefully, this will fit in garden. We have too many problems. I mean, I'll tell you, you're in dire straits if you get to a. Uh, you can see already, like I say, it's looking good there. You're in dire straits if you can't get a little umbrella in the back garden. And there she is, look. She is there. Got that washing up. Um, and I mean, a lot of what you do is it is in the detail. Uh, and do we want that like that? Shall we just turn it a little bit? We'll turn it like that just so the sheets are getting a bit of wind. It says. You, get, you do actually find yourself becoming increasingly sad doing this, you know, because you start. You start telling yourself a little story while you're mapping. Right. Um, have you got a car? Mm, I'll tell you what, have you got kids? That's the point. Let's find some kids stuff. Just because you live in a cottage don't mean you haven't got kids. Um, no, the best place to put kids stuff is pub. Everybody knows kids playing pubs. Um, just trying to remember where I put pub. There it is. Tell you what. Don't. I know for a fact I put a swing in one of these. Ah, trampoline. That'll do. We'll have that one. We'll have a trampoline. I'm not sure whether um, whether that's going to actually look good in there or not. But see, there's a beauty about it. You can always tell it's not that bad. And just to add a bit of realism, you see, because it's all in the detail, I was told. And I do believe that. But just to add a little bit of realism to it, how many people do you know cut under the grass on the trampolines? Just make sure we've got that close to ground where we can. We have to look like it's floating. You can get as close as you want to it. <laughs> there we go. Right. Um, move it that way. Right, but what I was going to say now is how many people do you know? Um, well, I don't know many. So, I think we'll have put different size grass under there, like that. So, to circle it, press that. Uh, oh, that didn't work. Just undo that because it's slightly offset. Undo that. Right. As you'll see now, we've got longer grass under the trampoline. Now, where it's bled out, we can actually go around that and uh, kick it back into small grass if we want. I mean, we could even go with uh, long dry grass, which does look quite nice. Give that effect. 
Like I said, whatever you've done here, don't matter, you can always go around them and change it back to small grass when you're uh, when you finish it like this. So for a smaller square there, now just change that back to small grass. Put a little ring around there, get rid of all long grass. And then you'll see when we zoom in now, we've actually got a little effect and it looks like when it goes under the grass for ages. Yeah. And it's all it's all stuff you have to see in detail in guys. See these are obviously people that like to you know, yeah they keep the grass cut but they don't go under to trampoline all the time. Just a little bit more missing there. <clears throat> But like I said, you can see we've got another house to put in here yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these walls up as well. And we're going to put the new stone wall in. Um, and then, like I said, it'll give you an idea of uh, this house here looks a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do, um, I might actually put a bigger house in here because it was the same of the same of these, same as these, if I remember rightly. But um, what I'll do is, like I say, I'll put a different house in there, I think. Uh, make it look a bit more higher status. It has actually got its own driveway. And then, like I said, we'll move on to the pub area then. Right, so quickly we'll do this bit. Right, so we want another texture driveway in there. Like I said, don't worry if it's all trial and error, guys. If you put some material on place, you have actually got an undo button where you just click that and it undoes everything you've just done. You can go back as many steps as you want. But one thing I will stress is if you're going to do this, and I've learned the hard way, make sure you save it on a regular basis. So that's that driveway in. And we'll don't forget your little path to your door. There's just going to be a little path, a big path. There's going to be a big path. I'm not sure it looks like we made an effort. And there we go. You can see that's uh, that sound coming on. Again, we'll put a bit of the um, we'll gravel dirt on that one. Shrink that down and just. Uh, so make it look good and put a bit there and that's sick. A few stones. Stones, he says. Stones. Or stones. Depending on where you come from in the country. Obviously, if you select the size. So when we're back to put in the vegetation in again. So again we'll go with long dry grass here because I don't know many people that go out and cut their edges. I know some people do do this but where I am. Um, I think we might have a little bit of a feature in here. Look for a bit of wet mold. So it breach in that mark. That's just give it a little bit more of a 3D look like people have just wandered off to the road. Like I said, just, and I'll do the same one down here. I think just to give that bit of depth, it does get a little bit. I think we need to just shorten that driveway a little bit. I'm a bit too, uh, a bit too giddy on that one. So what we'll do is we will re 
Let's set up. There we go. So it's, that's better. Didn't want to cut the old lawn short. Um, no, oh, and that's me just doing things off screen. Sorry, guys. I don't know whether you heard that on stream, but uh, it's not like it when you try and drag other widgets onto uh, Giants Editor for some reason. I'm going to have a shed on this one, I think, because I, I know exactly where I can pick a shed up from. And there you go, one shed. Let me know. And this is like so, this is a lot of what you do when you're on maps. Is, like I said, duplicate, it keeps the size down a hell of a lot. So what we're going to do is we pop that one there, and we're going to have a shed here, I think. One shed. Now, when the uh, security comes, just leave the shed door open. I don't know if I can actually... Shut that or not, but um, we'll uh, looks a little bit to uh, Bram's list. If this is what you like, you've got to look at everything from every single car. Well, no, you see, you think you're very good. Um, you know, hold it pear shape. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift this part bit of ground up here. Nobody wants to guard them, so won't. Come back to the old shed and we'll just turn it that way like that and then lift them up a little bit like that. It's actually quite uh, deep into the ground. There we go, what we got? Let's have a look. It's got the opposite way, look. A lot of you guys are just happy than me. Yeah, that's on piss. It's, it just depends how you look at you guys. And yeah, it does look on piss. I've got to be honest with you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it like that. Bring it up a bit forward a little bit. Take it up a tap. There we go. Yeah, but it, the thing is you can piss about with them all day long. There we go, that's close enough, I think. Right, now, one thing you've got to be sure of when you do this, um, you've got to be realistic, obviously, because so we've got a shed here. Again, you end up thinking out of box, and you think, well, nobody's really going to uh, cut grass behind that shed, so we'll just throw a bit of long grass in there like that. Just have to be to feature. And perhaps same down this side. see you you think they're pretty close to edge but they didn't this is how you, this is how you are you end up talking to yourself Obviously, not impressed with that because i think i am going to move it close to edge it looks like it's much up to edge side reason being it's a bit packed it's just sat in the middle of nowhere there we go so i'm going to plonk in there like that look a bit better like that yeah right that looks like it's leaning opposite way now so that way we can do that in long grass now get away with it that's small Grass all this up, grassy arts, like that. Try 
try not to go too close to that shed because it does tend to bleed through on sheds. Nobody wants a shed full of grass, especially when you get to it, like say, the stream up down there. And right, there we go. You'll see lights there straight away. I mean, just literally in 40 minutes, we've created two houses. Um, like I said, completely done on the garden, but you can see, like I said, how many, uh, how much time goes into doing it. Right, well, <clears throat> like to onwards and upwards, guys. Be interesting to know, like I said, guys, let me know what you think. Um, and don't forget, like I said, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, and subscribe the videos if you like them. Like I said, I'm planning on doing a lot more so you guys can uh, watch along with Roy Boy. If you like. I mean, a lot of you have watched me game. Um, like I said, I, to be honest with you, you do get a little bit fed up with just gaming all the time. <clears throat> and this to me feels like I'm getting something like that. Uh, but like I said, I'm not an expert by a long shot, guys. I know I'm not. But I think at the end of the day, like I say, it's about getting, it's about having a good eye for detail as well. Now, but do we want to put something else in this garden quickly? Mm, yeah, I think we'll give a washing line, same as the next door. But we're going to turn it a little bit so it looks slightly different top view. See, because we're on the grid next door, we can drag it straight over like that. But we'll turn that one that way, so looking at it from an angle, it does give a slightly different view of the clothes. Well, uh, it's all about deception, this job. Not putting it in the same place is a good idea as well, so we'll pull that one there, we'll push it further back here so it's near it. Shall we put it forward here? No, we'll have it forward there so it looks pretty random. Right, there you go guys, we're coming up to 45 minutes, and like I said, literally we've created two houses. <laughs> wow. So you, you guys can actually see how much work's going into it. Right. In the next episode, guys, uh, I'm going to attack this side of the road. And like I said, we're going to put a new house in here. Um, sort these edges out. Like to put a nice driveway around. Make a nice garden here and then change all these walls out. See all need doing. But like I said, we've got to level it and everything. Like I said, guys, if... Uh, if you like what you see don't forget to subscribe and like um and like i said i will see you next time guys so for now have a nice day and we will see you soon bye bye